what is going on guys welcome back to another video on the channel my name is josh and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to play nintendo we were games online through the power of wii fi for this tutorial you will need a few things you will need a nintendo wii with a standard internet connection you will also need an sd card or a usb drive but for the sake of this tutorial i will be using an sd card you will need a computer to download specific software you will need the homebrew channel and an sd card reader this is optional if your computer is unable to read sd cards or if it does not have an sd card reader built in if you do not already have the homebrew channel i recommend you watch this tutorial by michael mjd i will leave it in the card in the top right hand corner his tutorial allows you to download the homebrew channel right onto your wii system memory through a standard internet connection with all of this being said, let's get right into this tutorial. To begin this tutorial, you'll want to take your SD card or your USB drive and make sure to plug it into your computer. Assuming that you have a completely clean SD card, what you need to do is create two new folders. The first folder you want to put onto your SD card is something called apps. Make sure to spell it exactly like I do here, apps in all lowercase. And for your second folder, make sure you call the folder WADS in all caps. The reason for why you have to name these folders after their specific names is because once we get into installing the dedicated homebrew apps onto our SD card, there is a name that the homebrew channel looks for, hence why you are required to put at least for the sake of the apps folder in all lowercase letters. Next, you'll want to go to these two links highlighted in the description below. These links will leave you with a download to a WAD manager, also known as Wiimod Lite version 1.7, and a reconnect24 patcher called reconnect24 patcher version 1.2.3.2. Make sure to install the latest versions of each. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, I do not know if this is a necessity or not, but you might have to download something called 7-Zip or WinRAR, and this is for extracting said files from specific folders. What you need to do from here is open up the Wiimod Lite 7-Zip folder, and from here you'll be greeted with this apps folder right here. Make sure to go and open that, and you'll be greeted to this folder right here. From here, take the entire contents of the Wiimod Lite folder and put it over to the apps folder onto your SD card. Wait for it to copy those files over and you are now finished with that process. From here, make sure you go and open the reconnect24patcher.bat file that you had installed earlier. And if you come up to this screen on your computer, do not worry. All you have to do is just go under more info and click run anyway. And from here, you will be greeted to this little interesting screen. What you do from here is you just follow the prompts on screen. For example, we are going to start the process of wanting to download specific WiiWare games. For this case, we will type one and click enter. And then you'll be greeted to this screen where it says, Welcome to the Reconnect24 Patcher. With this program, you can patch your Wii or Wii U for use with Reconnect24. You can also use such tools as Wii and Patcher for all Wii games to play them online again. With this, this also implies WiiWare games. For the sake of this tutorial, I will be typing in 1 and clicking Enter. If you are on the Wii U, this might work, but do it at your own risk. From here, we will click Enter, and then you'll be greeted onto this screen. From here, you'll want to scroll down and you'll want to type in number four. This will patch WAD games such as WiiWare for use with Wii and 5, which will allow you to play online with other people, which is what we're going to be doing with this tutorial. From here, make sure to click enter as before, and then we'll be up to this process. It will say from here, a WiiWare patcher folder has been made. Please put your .wad files in that folder and choose ready when you are ready. What you're going to need to do is you're going to be going under your file explorer. And from here, all you have to do is just search up WiiWare and then you'll be greeted with this folder right here. Make sure you open this folder all the way up and then you will see all the contents of this folder. From here, what you will need to do is you will have to go online manually and you will have to find a specific WAD file for the game that you want to play online. Unfortunately, I am unable to tell you specifically where to find all the Wii Word wads, but I will tell you to search a Mario Cube in your search bar as seen on screen. If you go to the correct website, there will be a button on the bottom that says View Repository. You will then find a folder on that repository called WADS in all capital letters, and from there you are able to find your Wii Word WAD files. Make sure to download the correct ones for your region, and for my case, that being USA. Once you have the internet compatible Wii Word game installed, make sure to take the loan file and put it right into the Wii Word patcher folder. From here, you will then type in 1 and click enter on the Reconnect24 patcher. Once again, type in 1 and enter to patch normal games. It will then begin to run its course. After a couple of seconds, the WiiWare game is now patched and is online ready. From this point, you can now exit out of the Wii M5 patcher. And from here, make sure you find the online compatible WAD file. From this point, go back to your SD card and make sure you put in the said WiiWare file with Wii M5 on top of it into the WADS folder. From here, you should be all set to go once it is copying over, and you are all done with the computer process of this video. Safely make sure to eject the SD card so nothing else happens. Okay, so now we are on the Nintendo Wii, and we are going to be going under our homebrew channel that we installed earlier, or if you already had it, make sure you guys go under the homebrew channel, and we will continue this from here. If everything in the tutorial is done right, you will see this Wii Mod Lite app on your homebrew channel. From here, you want to click load on the Wii Mod Lite, and at this point, your SD card should be inside of your Nintendo Wii. Make sure to click and load, and then you will be greeted with this black screen saying applying patches, please wait. And from there, you will be greeted to this blob of stuff. 
From here, just make sure to use your Nintendo Wii Remote's D-pad and scroll down to Wad Manager. For the sake of this tutorial, we are using a Wii SD slot as our source device, but you can use a USB flash drive or whatever the case may be. If you do scroll to the right, you can see you have a USB map storage device, SMB share, for example, and other kinds of options. But since we are going with an SD card, we will be clicking A on the Wii SD slot. And from here, we are going to be going under our WADS folder that we created earlier on top of our SD card. And from here, you will see the WiiWare underscore WiiMFi.WAD file inside of WiiMod Lite. From here, all you have to do is click plus, which will mark for batch install. And that is all you need to do, ladies and gentlemen. From here, you click A on your Wii Remote and A once again to proceed for installation. This will take at most a minute to install. And from here, that is all you have to do and you are able to play online. It is a really cool method. And if you guys want to do this with a lot of other WiiWare games, make sure you guys go check onto the Wii M5 website to see which games are compatible. There are a slew of games that you can choose from. Unfortunately, not every single WiiWare game has the support of Wii M5, but a lot of people every single day are testing things out and they are seeing if new games are compatible. I will make sure to leave a link in the description below to the Wii M5 statistics so you guys can check to see which WiiWare games are compatible with online. From here, just click any key on your Wii Remote to continue and all you have to do from here is just click the home button and then you'll be returning back to the loader. From here all you have to do is just exit out of your homebrew channel into the system menu and once again if everything was done correctly once this does load onto your Nintendo Wii we will be greeted with a brand new WiiWare game onto your Nintendo Wii. For this case I did download Uno. As you can see it is right here clear as day. You do not need to do anything else around this point. All you need to do is just ensure that you have once again an internet connection that is stable and you are going to be able to play online there is no need to do any extra dns's through your internet connection settings you do not need to do anything more this is all you have to do from here just open the game that is online compatible once again for my case it's uno all right we're gonna be going on to the online on uno once again make sure you have that stable internet connection i'm just gonna be going on to my main account and we're gonna be going under multiplayer and we're gonna be going under the nintendo wi-fi connection you should not be able to access this on the main game you can only access this through the means of this tutorial make sure you go under the nintendo wi-fi connection and hopefully after about 15 seconds if everything was done correctly you will then be greeted to the nintendo wi-fi connection screen on your said game as shown right here i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did definitely make sure to go and drop a like and hit that subscribe button down below for more kinds of content like this it would greatly be appreciated i will also make sure to leave any open host friend codes in the description below so if you guys do want to play with me on specific games like uno or for example water warfare bomberman blast for example on WiiWare, i'll make sure to have all my friend codes in the description below so you guys can go and add me and whenever i play them you guys can play them with me as well hopefully with this tutorial video the WiiWare online community will thrive and a lot more people will want to play these games it is super cool to do this and i do not understand why a tutorial was not made on this before but with this tutorial i'm hoping a lot more people will be more engaged and i'm hoping a lot more people will come and play thank you guys all so much for watching and before this video ends i want to give a huge shout out to my twitch subscribers and youtube members you guys are absolutely amazing greatly appreciate you guys for supporting the content if you guys have not already make sure you guys go and follow me on twitch i stream almost every single day on my twitch some mario kart Wii, some super smash Bros. brawl and some other games as well and who knows even some uno i'll make sure to see you guys in the next video on the youtube channel and hope you guys have an amazing rest of your guys' day peace out